Right, so in this video here, I'm going to show you how to model this slope dispenser using the lot feature and some simple extrudes. And if we look around there, we can see that the base profile is a square. Okay, and we're going to draw a square on a separate plane above that, and we're going to lock between the two square profiles. Then we have a cylinder drawn here, a second cylinder, and a simple extrude of a rectangle for the nozzle where the soap would actually come out. So as always, go to create, new document, and we're going to call this soap dispenser. I'm going to call this soap dispenser 2 because I can't have the same name as the one I've already used. Click OK. It's just loading the workspace there. And the first thing I'm going to do when I get in here is I'm just going to tidy up some of these planes because some of them I won't need. So I'm just going to click the top plane there, and then right click on the mouse, and I'm going to click Hide Other Planes. And I'm going to go to Sketch and look down on the top. Come over here and go to Center Point Rectangle. I come back over again and I want to start my rectangle over that origin there, that black dot you can see in the middle of the page. Drag it out. Size doesn't matter at the moment because we're going to give it a dimension now and we're going to give it a dimension that side to be 50 millimeters and this side here to be 50 millimeters. Click OK and close the sketch. Okay. So now what we have is we have a square drawn there on the top plane, but I want to draw another square on a plane above that plane there. So I'm going to go over here, click plane. So it's going to create a new plane for us. The entities I wanted to reference off is this top plane here, and I want the new plane to be 54 millimeters above that top plane. Click OK. And if I just go for a front view here, that's the plane I drew the first square on. And this is my second plane here, which is 54 millimeters above the top plane. So zoom out there again, go to sketch, ask me to select the sketch plane I want to draw on, and I want to draw on this newly created plane one. And hit the dice over on the right hand side here, and look down again from the top of it. So now I'm going to draw a center point rectangle again, and starting it on the origin. So the two sketches are centered on one another. Drag it out again and dimension it this time to have a side of 20 millimeters and 20 millimeters. And OK the sketch. So now I have my two profiles drawn. I can do my loft feature between them. And um, you're familiar with the extrude one so far. This would be revolve. This would be sweep, and over here then we have lock. So if you hover over any of the icons you may be unsure of, it will bring up an explanation of what that feature will do. So that's the lock there, and I want to use the profiles here, uh, the base square and the top square. And you can see there, it's if I just hide that new plane, it's pulled a loft skin between the two profiles. Well, I'm here now, and go to the appearance panel. Double click the blue there, and I'm going to give that an appearance of maybe yellow. Click OK. Click this icon here to hide the appearance panel again. So, next we're going to go to sketch again. Uh, the sketch plane I want to use is the top surface of my loft, the top surface of the base of the soap dispenser. Click that surface. Click the top here so I'm looking directly at it, and I'm going to draw a circle. Like that, give it a dimension, and it's going to have a dimension of diameter 12 millimeters. And I'm going to extrude that circle up now to make it a cylinder. So extrude, and I want to extrude it up a height of 15 millimeters. And also here, where it says add, now I want to come over and select new because I want this to be a separate part from the base. Click OK and go back to sketch again. And on top of that cylinder, 
I want to draw a smaller circle. And I'm going to give that a dimension this time of 4. Diameter 4. Go back again and extrude that up a height of 14 millimeters. Click here, 14. Zoom out. And there we have it. Okay. So now, final sketch. I'm going to draw it on the top of that newly created smaller cylinder. Look down at the top. And this time, I want to draw a construction line. So I'm going to select the line tool over here. From the origin, then, I'm going to drag out a line. I'm going to do it the wrong way. I'm going to make, make the line go off at an angle there like that. Now, I don't want that line off at an angle. I want that line to be perfectly horizontal across the page here. So I can go over here to my relations, hit horizontal, and hit that line, and it has moved it horizontal for me. I also want to make that line a construction line. So hit the construction tool over here, click the line. Sometimes you have to do it twice, or maybe three times. No, it's not working. Okay, well, it doesn't matter anyway. And now I want to draw a center point rectangle on that line. And I want that rectangle to have a top side dimension there of 20 millimeters. And a side here, a dimension of 6. And I want to add a relation of a tangent between that line and the edge of that circle. Okay. And since this line, so it's clear that there didn't turn into a construction line for me. Turn into construction there. I don't know why it worked now and didn't work before, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. As long as that you have your center rectangle centered along or drawn on that center line there, it'll be okay. And I want to go and extrude that rectangle now. It defaults to a height of 25 millimeters, but I want it to be a height of 3. So I'm going to change that there to 3. And click OK. And all we have to do now is just add some appearances to the top portion here. So on part two, I'm going to give it a light gray. Click OK, hide the appearance panel. And you can see you have your different um, features used along there. Your basic loft and some simple extrudes. Okay, 